Okay, I'm back with the 2017 Chevy Volt Premier from Vroom. More, more uh, specifically, Texas Direct Auto. Um, you can find them on eBay. They have a lot of places now, actually. As a company, they're very efficient. So, a little shout out to my uh, loan officer, Trace Warner. He was very helpful. Um, the only things I did notice, this car came in with some uh, marks on the door and all, which were completely unvisible in the pictures they send. You don't see that at all. There are very obvious marks. I'm not happy about that on a car that's basically priced like, you know, like new. And there's a lot of stuff on the paint on the outside. Blemishes, I would say. They might be able to be removed, I'm hoping. They did kind of dismiss it when I sent all this into... Uh, the room support, again, very responsive. They sent it over to review team quickly, um, but they just kind of said it was normal wear and tear and blew me off. So, but I'm actually still working on it. I did get them to agree to $300, maybe towards buffing it out or fixing it. We'll see. Mainly want to cover my trip to North Carolina. Let's talk about that. I wasn't sure if this would make it to Knoxville. That was going to be my first test, but instead I went from Sevierville, Tennessee to Weaverville, North Carolina and back with me and my daughter in the car. We were using climate, it was cold. Not terrible, but it was cold. So we had to use climate to kind of keep the window defrosted, etc. cetera. Um, I left with a full battery and two bars of this 10 bar gas tank down. So um, to get there and to get back, this is how many miles I have done so far. This is basically the end of that trip, 163.8 miles on that trip. I'm still averaging 118.5 miles per gallon. And I'll say when I was in North Carolina, I charged it for a little while, actually went somewhere, didn't even let it get to a full charge because I didn't have time and I was using a home charger, which with this car takes a long time to charge versus the station, obviously. Um, so I didn't have a full charge on the way there. I left on the way back down at least two bars. I don't even know if it had a full two, but it was down two bars on the battery when I left. But it said I had 192 miles in the fuel range, which just kind of goes up and down and my EV range is off because this car wasn't being charged right when it came to me, which I think these cars should always be somewhat charged or being charged. And I'm not sure how long it's off the charger, but this one being newer, I'm not as worried about it as an older one, which might not be having a battery kept up like it needs to be. Um, on this car, only when it's in a full charge does it give you these options here. Like I said the Ford Fusion Energy always graded you on your coasting, your acceleration, and your braking. Constantly giving you a grade score, which is cool, but you don't really need to know it all the time because it's neat to know, but it's hard to really pay attention to it all the time. You know, if you're driving good, if you're going to bother with the technique, you should know more or less how you're doing. But this one just gives you an overall technique. Terrain, climate's always bad because it's kind of cold. They're always running the climate. They do have an eco mode on this one, which is kind of cool for climate. You know, saves you a little bit. And then your outside temperature, how it affects your score. But this only resets, like I said, on a full charge. So like I said, I actually just charged this. I'm down the road a little bit right now. So, um... This is based on today's driving so far. Um, there's two two screens here. That's your you know gas mileage, but then you're combined with gas since my last since my last charge, and then your lifetime. So far today, I've used seven percent driving and three percent on climate. So that's no big deal. Um, and your score. So I like that. And Right here, like I said, no gallons of gas today, but on that trip from uh, Sevierville to Weaverville, back to Sevierville on a mountainous drive, I I had used 0.66 gallons on the way there and about the same on the way back. So that was pretty good. And like I said, I've only went down one more bar of gas on the car, according to this. Now I know the top of the half of a gas tank always seems to go longer than the bottom, but... I was pretty impressed. Um, and I used this mountainous mode for the first time. It basically reserves battery and it helps, which I guess, you know, gives you a little bit more 
efficient driving on the mountain so where it keeps the last two i had 13 miles left when i had put it on basically at the roughest part if you're familiar with the drive past uh, hot springs where you really start climbing the, the mountain and uh i was still impressed at how far i was able to go with the battery so i think this car has some great range and some good features to help conserve energy but it comes at a price.